Hi everyone, thank you for joining me today. Uh, what I would like to go through today is more on travel scrapbooking because you know we're all stuck at home feeling a bit uninspired so I was thinking why not go through all this ephemeris that I've been uh, curating over I think about 12 to 16 years now and they're all mixed up but I've categorized them into different um, categories for example I have business cards in one little pouch I have another uh, paper bag filled with uh, restaurant coasters that I've been collecting uh, amongst other things like ticket stops, boarding passes, postcards, postal stamps and so on. So yeah, we have a lot to go through and basically what I've decided to use to keep everything together is this binder. It's actually a book lover's binder but I'm going to use it specifically for travel and I've started a little bit on New York but um, what I intend to do on the outside is kind of rename it to travel lovers instead of book lovers and what I like about the concept of a ring binder is that you can really uh, move things around and you can create your own kind of cards and transparent pockets as you go along um, you can stick things or you can have it loosely kept into you know little plastic pockets and pin things clip it on right over the paper and really be quite free in the way you do things it doesn't have to be in a chronological order as you can see here i've kind of like just simply stuck things around uh, this is actually a menu uh, inside the menu, I'm keeping like a donut map from New York. So it's nice that the menu comes in a little booklet like that. And the reason why I don't want to stick a map down is because I still want to peel it out of the binder to unravel it and, you know, look at it and rediscover it. So this is a fun way, I think, of um, journaling not like traveler's notebook where you kind of like stick things on the surface so this will help me break out from the normal way of doing things and right now i really need a challenge and i really need to feel inspired so yeah this is basically my new project and i'm really excited to kind of share my process and hopefully inspire you guys to try it out yourself uh, it's really messy already as you can see all my tools are out um, I've scrapped papers around and I figured today I will go through a destination that I have a lot of ephemeris so um, I've decided to do Australia and I will categorize the different materials so that it's easier for me to kind of go through it later when I'm sticking things down and you know planning it out um, I really have no idea what I'm going to do with all this stuff I might not put everything into um, my travel binder maybe just selected things things that might not hold much memory I will get rid of like for example this booklet um, I just like the design of it but yeah that's about it and I have pictures of course of my friends and I that I've taken along the way uh, Polaroid pictures as well I feel like pictures really give the spreads a bit more life and context um, I love coasters so I've been collecting it and I have uh, really nice postcards in fact this one is actually from a stationery store um, it's for a workshop but I really like the letterpress uh, and design on it so I kept it and then I have, uh, yeah, more little knickknacks around. Uh, some of it I don't even recall because it's been like 12 over years or something. Um, there's ticket stops. I have a my key card which I can still use so I might not stick it down. Um, then there's this tea shop and co stationery store I went to in Perth. I really like the branding so... 
yeah, I'm going to see what I'm going to do with that. And Vast Felix is a vineyard in Perth and we went for wine tasting. So I have some wine tasting notes and information that I'd like to keep it in my journal. Um, yeah, so that's quite a bit. Uh, I made this little pocket thing the other day and I don't really know what I'm going to use it for but uh, I have also this accordion notebook that I journaled my Melbourne and Tasmanian trip last year so I thought it'd be quite nice to kind of include it into the binder um, and one of the ideas is perhaps to put it inside this makeshift um, transparent pocket thing. <laughs> There's no right name for it. But yeah, it fits it perfectly. But I suppose it's not like the best option because it's a bit bulky. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see what we're going to do with it. But right now it's just all <laughs> anyway anything goes at, at this point so yeah let's see how we go i'm just going to kind of experiment move things around and hopefully um, the pieces will come together nicely by the end of this video
is gone. The the thrill 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 is gone. your heart. 